In Creole Parametric, you have a few different options for how you represent your lattice features in order to improve performance. And as a matter of fact, there was a person at PTC who worked on the lattice feature who reached out to me and was like, Dave, you've got to stop using full representation in your videos. It's way too slow. And he was right. Let's take a look at that. Here, if you take a look in my model, I've got a lattice feature in the middle. It doesn't look that bad when you look straight on, but if I rotate slightly, yep, there's a lot of stuff in there. Let's go to the lattice feature and edit definition. And right now, if you take a look on the dashboard, underneath options, there's representation, and here we're using full geometry. And full geometry, well, that's the most computationally intensive. And to show you that, I'm going to leave it set to full geometry and hit the check mark, let it go through the full regeneration, and I'll speed up the video and let you know how long this actually took. All right, now we're back. That took a few seconds, and my Creole Parametric program was even giving me the not responding message for a moment. Let's make this better. I will edit definition of the lattice feature, and now let's change from full geometry to simplified. And the great thing about simplified is that it'll retain the mass properties of the original full geometry representation. Now I will hit the check mark. And you see how fast that was. I didn't even speed up the video. So again, it looks just like before, but again, it's just using that simplified representation for displaying the graphics, but you still have the correct mass properties. And even faster than that, let's edit definition and then change from simplified to homogenized and hit the check mark. Well, this is nearly instant because it is using essentially surfaces to represent where the lattices are, but it's not creating any kind of representation of the beams, but you'll still be able to use the beam geometry when you bring this over, say to Creo Simulate to perform structural analysis. So again, you have three different choices for your regular kinds of beams and your 2.5D and everything like that. Let me change this back to simplified because I prefer that over homogenized because again, it is just really, really fast, especially compared to the full geometry. Now let's jump over to a different model to take a look at one additional option. In this part model, I took a sphere and replaced it with a lattice. Let's edit definition of this one. And this is using one of the formula driven options, which is pretty neat. I did a video on that. You have a few different functions for formula driven. You can either use diamond, primitive, or gyroid. This is a diamond. If you take a look underneath options for representation, it automatically selects something called voxelized and you can control the accuracy. So right now it is using a medium accuracy. Hey, if I want to get some better performance, I can change this to low or even very low and then hit the check mark. Even though this geometry is very complicated, hey, it calculated very quickly. So there you can see what we have for our formula driven lattice. So if you're using these additive manufacturing features, trust me, take advantage of using the different representation options. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.